Greetings, everybody. We've had a request to do the first four multiple choice questions from Fall 21, Test 3, Part 1. We've got this big old molecule with a lot of nitrogens in it. We're supposed to know the basicity of nitrogens. Uh, I'm looking for any aliphatic nitrogens. Those are the ones that are attached to just carbon groups. They don't have any pi bonds. I don't see any. Giving you a quick rundown of the categories here. This is a pyridine in here. So that nitrogen is from a pyridine. This one here, that's a nitrogen sticking off of a ring. That would put it in the aniline category. Very poor base. Don't be using aniline. Keeping in mind that over here we have an imidazole, and this lone pair is essential for aromaticity. Don't use it as a base over there. Use this lone pair in green. And this is an imidazole. Imidazole. So in the absence of any aliphatic amine, H, N, R, R prime, aliphatic, if R is saturated. Okay, if R, and R prime, R saturated. There we go. And we don't have any of those. Imidazoles are be, will be the best guys left over. And don't use the blue lone pair, use the green. So I'm looking at the second product right now in question two. And remember the PKB of imidazoles and the PKA of their conjugate acids are easy to remember, even though they're new numbers. PKB is around seven. That makes the PKA of its conjugate partner also seven. Keep that in mind, because it's reacting with a carboxylic acid. PKA is roughly five. So in this question, PKEQ, this is question one. It's not writing very well there, it's my, oh, this uh, screen loves my sweater. <laughs> Leaving lots of nice marks. Uh, PKEQ. equals five minus seven equals negative two. Closest answer, negative three. Well, I told you, <laughs> another sweater phenomenon. Very strange. And where's all our stuff? That's a great question. We're at the top right here. It's like everything's gone. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, there you are. It's everything's way down here. We didn't know that, did we? Living and learning here. How'd you get down there? Okay. Okay. So negative two was the right answer. I'll even show the calculation, pull my sweater up a little here. PKEQ equals five minus seven. Remember this is the product, the seven. And we like this answer right here. And in the next reaction, we got molecule X, which we just put on the screen. There's molecule X. Uh, we're not gonna go with the aniline. The aniline's terrible. Pyridine's next. Just remember, it's not quite as good a base as an imidazole. So the key PKB can't be as low as seven. Okay, so we're going PKB is not as low as seven. Let's just roughly call it eight. It's close.
And that means the pKa and the product you're going to choose has the H right here. And it has to have the H that we just put on as well. I think it's the first one. pKa, 14 minus 8, 6. Yeah. And so we're going to go 6 is the product. This is Y. pKeq equals TSOH is the reactant, negative 5. Negative 11 is the best answer, but we don't have that, so we go with negative 10. I believe we got all of them. Pretty good. And we'll move on.